All right, you know it is gonna be a fun and exciting video for me when I get to share a palette with all of the greens, all of the greens. The new Nomad Cosmetics Ireland Wild Atlantic Way palette. Here she is in all of her green fuzzy glory. I am gonna be doing three looks with you today. Well, technically not today. Today we're doing one, but I have done two other looks. I actually wore this palette all week last week. So thank you to the brand for sending this over and for sending this early enough that it really gave me enough time to be able to play with the palette, try almost all of the shades and give you, you know, some in-depth thoughts on this palette. Is this going to be my new favorite? Do I feel that there are some misses in this palette? You'll find out as we go through this. But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I know that there are several creators who have already gotten their videos up. I just couldn't get my ish together last week. But that is okay. So I'm gonna be sharing with you my looks in case maybe we have similar makeup preferences. And I will be talking a little bit about the formulas in here. I am gonna be very curious to swatch a few things in here compared to some other Nomad formulas. And I will get into my thoughts on that at the end of the video, but I'm gonna share the looks. Everything will be timestamped for you. So if you're looking for something in particular, feel free to hop around. Let's talk deets on the palette, shall we? First of all, the packaging, I just, we all know they kill it, right? Like, look at this box. This is just the most beautiful image. I just absolutely adore this. If you are new to my channel, I am definitely biased because I absolutely love green. So when this palette came in the mail and I opened it, I was just like, oh, it's green. <laughs> You can see here on the back, the shades. This is just so fun. So Nomad says that there are 11 grand mattes and seven splendid shimmers. And so I was really excited to dive into this one. We do have the fuzzy packaging, similar to the feel of the Okavango Safari palette. Now I will be honest, this is cute and I totally get where they were going with this. I probably would have preferred the image of the front of the box to be the front of the palette. It is what you'll see on the inside of the palette here. I just feel like, oh, that beautiful image is just sort of wasted. You're welcome for getting to see the chaos that is my vanity. So I do have some up close looks at the palette because I've already dug my fingers into all of the beautiful embossing that the brand is known for. I just absolutely love this color story. I really enjoy that you have some warms, some cools. You do have a couple, you know, more like grounding earth tone shades. It's very, very pretty. And this palette retails for $49. Now I do have a code. It is Keep Beauty Real. If you would like to save 10%, it is not affiliated in any way, but you can feel free to use that to save some cash. So this actually is launching the night that this video is going up. So if you are in Pacific Standard Time here in the United States, it will be about 9 p.m. or at the stroke of midnight on Tuesday if you are Eastern Standard Time. Now, I also want to give a nod to the cause that Nomad is going to be donating to with this palette launch. This is the Irish Wildlife Trust, and they say that the trust works to raise awareness of Ireland's rich natural heritage and protect it for future generations. And Ireland is on my bucket list to get to. I mean, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's great that there are foundations out there that are looking to keep it so beautiful. So I do also want to mention, and I absolutely love this, this is not a limited edition launch. Honestly, most of Nomad's launches are usually around for quite a while. And I think that they said that they will be in stock, well, they will be available for at least 12 months and they plan to restock if this sells out. So that means that you don't have to feel that pressure to go out and buy right away. You can absolutely wait, take your time, you know, decide, watch some content, see if it's something that you want, go through the palettes that you already have in your collection, decide if it's something that you want. But you're probably here to hear my thoughts on it. So let's get into this. Again, we will be doing this look right here. This will be a talk through. And then I have two other looks to show you as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, here we go. So I think that this is going to be the most dramatic of the three looks, at least that's what I'm thinking right now. <sighs> there are just so many colors in here. I cannot wait to play with this one more. You're seeing three looks in here. After I <laughs> post this video, I'm definitely gonna be watching other creators' videos because I think that there are just a myriad of looks that you can get out of this. But today, what I really want to use is this shade right here. Like this was just calling my name. It's this beautiful, like foresty, slightly blue green. Love it, so pretty. So I think we're gonna do that with a pop of this really pretty 
gold with a hint of green to it. Other than that, we'll just see where inspiration takes us. I did put on the tiniest amount of concealer on my eyelids uh, just to sort of take away a little bit of the darkness. Now I am going to use a glitter glue today, uh, not because I feel like I need to, because I actually had really good luck just using the shimmers on their own. Um, I will talk about the longevity of everything at the end of the video, but I don't feel like I need to, but for research sake, if we will, I wanna go ahead and pop a little bit of this on. So I'm just gonna take, did I say the specular from Davina? And I'm gonna pop this onto my lid and just above uh, the crease. By the way, I'm using the KJH and Spectrum 14 brush. This one's actually really good for really precise placement of a product like this. And a little goes a long way. All right, so I'm gonna grab this MAC 263 just because it's a bit toothier. I'm gonna start with the darker color and place this on the outside. And I'm really just kind of like tapping and pressing this on at first just to really lay down that pigment. Oh my gosh, this shade is so pretty. Oh, whoa. And I'm gonna go in like two thirds of the way in, I would say. Oh my gosh, this shade is so beautiful. Now I'm already kind of like, uh, maybe I just want to wear this one. <laughs> it's okay. And once I have that shape laid down, I'm just with very, very light pressure going through with the very tip of the bristles here just to soften that line out a little bit. I'm gonna take my Sigma Switch, which I've been having fun kind of playing with since they sent it over to me just to kind of clean this off a little bit. And now we're gonna go in with that gold color. I have to say like this mirror in here is really nice and big, but since it's such a big palette, like I normally would not be one. In fact, I think in the other looks that I did, you can probably see that I was just holding like a small little mirror because it's a lot to hold up. <laughs> and I wanna make sure to get this light shade into place. I'm gonna do it on both sides. And then once I have that fully in place, I'll go ahead and just kind of shimmy my brush in between the two to sort of blend it out. But I don't want to do that until I know that I have this laid down just so I don't get the darker color kind of smushed into the bristles here. because so I want to keep this front really bright and that clean color. Okay, full disclosure, I am wearing like joggers right now. Like they're not like sweatpants, but they are more like joggers. And I'm like, this is not gonna be jogger. This is not gonna be jogger eyeshadow. So I'm probably gonna have to change. <laughs> I've just been, you know, like cozy kind of hanging out this morning, but I will probably head to a coffee shop to edit this video later today. And I'm like, yeah, I can't show up with like a bright eye look like this and joggers. <laughs> I mean, I could, whatever, but it just feels odd. Okay, that is incredibly pretty. I mean, I honestly, I could just like maybe run just a little bit of one mat in through the top just to kind of like blend everything, put one on the bottom and be good to go. Can you say that? Okay, so my goal here has been to try to use a lot of the shades in this palette, like as many as I can. So I'm trying to see like which ones I haven't used. I'm gonna go through with Emerald Isle here. That's very pretty. And we're gonna use my trusty E36 from Sigma. I love this for just like delicate blend work. Like I said, I could have easily been happy with just running one color to blend the edges here and you know, felt good about that, but we're gonna do a little extra. All right, we will take this shade here just for a little bit of blend right along the edge of that shimmer here. It's like almost nothing, but it does blur it out in my skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and take this blue matte here and just add a little bit here. I definitely got some fallout from the shimmer shades, but I don't mind that. Wow, 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 wow. So pretty, okay. Uh, I am, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. All right, so like I said, I've definitely got some fallout here. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my Nomad Air Moisturizer. Uh, this is the face cream. I have to tell you, I really, 
I really do like this. It reminds me a lot of the Kiehl's, um, I was gonna say Ultra Repair Cream, but I feel like that's the First Aid Beauty one. The one that I talk about all the time, come on now. <laughs> It reminds me a lot of that and I keep it in here on my vanity. Um, I think I've said this before. I definitely said it. I maybe edited it out of a video at one point in time. I've said it before that this I keep in here for those mornings that like I did my skincare in our master bathroom. I leave and then I realize, oops, I put on my serum, whatever active I'm using that morning, usually vitamin C. And then I'm like, oh gosh, I didn't put on a moisturizer and I don't want to go back in and wake him up if he's still sleeping. So. I do really like it, but this way, I just kind of use this to like sweep that off onto a Q-tip, and then I don't have to worry about using like makeup remover, even like a micellar water sort of takes off some of that hydration. And so here I'm just really nice and hydrated and glitter-free, or at least mostly glitter-free, enough that when I put over my tinge of moisturizer, it's gonna be fine. Okay, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. All right, All right. here we go. So in case you're curious what I'm wearing, uh, I have the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator on, and I pulled out this Patrick Ta for my Shot My Stash. I think it was actually when I did my blush declutter. Pulled this one out to be using it. This is in the shade Do We Know Her. Uh, mostly, I've been doing the powder part of this recently. As you probably saw, when I had no makeup on, I've been struggling with some breakouts. And when I do that, I usually tend to stick towards powder blushes, just so that the coverage that I put down doesn't have as much risk of being pulled up by a cream. Um, and this is just a really soft color that seems to go with everything. I've actually been using this one quite a bit lately, mostly, unfortunately, because I needed something. Because <laughs> I've been having so many breakouts. <sighs> anyway. All right, uh, I will grab a lip at some point, but let's go ahead and get these eyes done. So I do think I'm gonna go through with Blarney Stone. Uh, I haven't used this one yet, so why not, right? Okay, so we're gonna grab this teeny tiny little Davina D101, and we'll use this. Almost like a liner brush. Ooh, this color is really pretty. Yeah, this is just like a beautiful, true green, like not blue, not overly like olivey or yellowy. And then once I have that placed down, then I go ahead and just like with light pressure, start blurring that out just a little bit more, especially since it's such a pretty color. I wanted something like really, really tight, but I'm like, oh, it's just so pretty. We gotta show a little bit more of this one. Okay, I am seriously in love with this. I'm gonna go through and why not use some green waterline liner. So I have the original House Laboratories brand in the shade Grime. So we're gonna use that. Lots of mascara. I okay. will be right back. Here we are. The only thing is I do want a light, bright inner corner. And that is something that this palette sadly does not have. So I actually just pulled out Whistler Snow Lodge. Uh, I like this shade Skin right here because it's light and bright, but it's a bit warm. So I think it'll go with this look just, we're good. Whew. Everything's fine. No nails got dug into any shades. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, anyway, this is just going to, you know, kind of be like a golden champagne just to pop in. I actually did use this on one of the other looks that I did as well, and I think I forgot to mention it. So I thought it would be good to mention in this look so that later, if you see an inner corner, you'll know that this is what I used. I have this one still out on my vanity from my uh, winter eyeshadow palette picks. It's about time to pick the spring ones, and I don't, I don't feel like I gave these enough use. That's what happens when you have so many eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so love that. See, that just like kind of like gave it a little bit. Let's go ahead and actually use that as a little bit of a highlight on the lip as well. There we go. All right, we need some lip gloss. All right, I think that City Beauty actually just sent me a box and there is a shade that I've been trying to get my hands on and it's been out of stock, so maybe we can try that one on if it goes with this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found it. I popped it on because I filmed it for Instagram. <laughs> but this shade is so pretty. This is right up my alley. You know that I love these glosses. So uh, this is the shade Nude York. So when this video goes up, I would, I would wait. I would wait on buying the glosses because they're going to be having a BOGO sale real soon, and I will share the details with you on my community tab for sure. So 
wish list this, but wait for the BOGO sale. Such a good deal. Okay. <laughs> So I am very happy with this. So, so happy. Love this look. Why don't we go ahead and get into the other looks and my final thoughts. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the looks as much as I enjoyed wearing them because let me tell you every single day I, I wore this palette I was like wow I I just love this so clearly you're gonna know my overall impression of this palette is that I absolutely love it I do think it's coming into ooh, the top three the top three for sure of the nomad palettes that I have uh and you know I have some purchased I have some sent in PR so I have like a mishmash so that really doesn't make a difference to me but it's just this color story. You know, I, I do really love a good green moment and I love the fact that you have so many different shades of green, but again, I mean, you've got the neutrals that I need in my life. I do want to try out this blue shade. That's obviously one that I didn't use. You know, that's not a color that I steer into all the time. And honestly, I'm very excited to get to try this one at some point because it is such a pretty, I would say like, hazier blue, you know, like I'm, I'm really going to be excited to try this one, but so little time, so few eyelids and so many eyeshadows. <laughs> so that's going to be what I'm going to dive into. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'll probably do a look and post it over there. So let's go ahead and go into some of the pros and cons of this palette. I mean, first of all, the pros are the color story. If you like a good green palette, you're really going to like this one. I do think it has quite a bit of diversity. I do think that a couple of the shades could have been switched up a bit. You know, if we look at these two greens right here, they are different, obviously, but when I'm looking at a palette that already has a lot of greens in it, I do feel like we could have taken one of them out. I mean, really, if you were to mix these two right here, you'd get something very similar to this one down here, in my opinion. And that would leave room for something that I feel is missing in this palette for me, and that is a bright inner corner shade. Something that is not overly thick and metallic, something that is light enough that, you know, you could just get that little bit of pop, like I had to pull out the Whistler Snow Lodge for this look. You know, this shade might work on some people as an inner corner. I mean, even the brighter golds, but they're so thick and metallic looking, and that's not what I prefer on my inner corner. I feel like 
Nomad has had that in a couple palettes recently where there hasn't really been an inner corner shade. That's not a deal breaker. You can pull out a highlight if you've got another palette laying around, you can do that. Maybe you wanna pull out a fun single shadow. But when I think about like one cohesive palette, I do like to have at least one in there, at least one. I do also think that uh, this shade right here, is it Malinhead? That shade to me, Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad, but I just put it on two fingers. I don't know why. I like the shade. However, I feel like this is gonna be a shade that doesn't work on deeper skin tones. I also feel like on a cooler skin tone, it's gonna look a little wonky, you know, because this does have almost like a green undertone. It's sort of like, buttermilk with a little moss in it. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I like the shade. I just don't know how well utilized it will be in this palette for people with deeper or cool skin tones. I do think, you know, you've got this one here that people with deeper or olive skin can use. And then even like this one here could be used to um, blend out some of the looks. I mean, it is cooler toned. So, and it's obviously more neutral. So, you know, Take that as you will. But in the overall like vibe of this palette, those are just the two little things that I would probably tweak. The one thing, and this is where I wanna kinda like do a couple swatches. I always talk about how I love the shimmer formula that Nomad has when they go to their like classic well-known shimmer, you know? There are a couple shades in here that are not like that to me, and maybe it's just been a little while, but I feel like a couple of these are extra sparkly. You know, Nomad has some of those shimmers that like, they have a beautiful, like soft shimmery feel, and then they have some like micro sparkle in them, but this just has like an extra kick in the pants to it to me. So I feel like, let me go ahead and like zoom you in here again. So I feel like there's just like some extra ba-bam to these. So why don't we just go ahead right now. Let me see what I can pull out here. So I just kind of want to see if I have something that is sort of similar. Okay, so and you can't get this palette anymore, but this is Berry Cool from the Whistler Snow Lodge. So we'll take that. And then we're going to take that Ring of Carry. Similar color but maybe you can even tell here on my fingers, this is Ring of Kerry and this is Berry, which was that? This is Berry Cool. So if I swatch these, you'll probably be able to see. So it's the new one on the top. Can you see? I just feel like that has more reflectivity. Again, you know, the, the shades kind of dupe each other, but I can see up close that there is like, more sparkle in this shade. That is gonna be a huge bonus for some people. It might also be a con for other people. So let me go ahead and grab out another palette here from Nomad. You'd think I would have done this already, right? Okay, so I think this is gonna be another good option. Again, I'm not trying to compare color story here, but let's take this leaping, oh my gosh, Leshways. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. And then we're gonna take the Cliffs of Mower. So I can even just tell like the feel of these is a bit different. So I'm gonna take the new shade and then we're gonna take the one from Okavongo and put it next to it. I think actually I probably have one in another palette that is closer to the shade, but I'm just grabbing whatever I can see first. So can you see how this just has, I hope you can see it, it has more reflectivity and shimmer. I will also say it's a bit of a thicker feel. Now I actually did like get quite a bit of a swatch. I will say also I found when I was picking these up with a brush, I prefer using a brush that has a little bit more toothiness to it. So that's why I pulled out the MAC one for this look because they're not necessarily flaky shadows, but I do find that when you're picking them up on the brush, they have a bit of texture to them. And so I want something that has some toothiness to be able to grab that, if that makes any sense. So I do feel like the formula is a little bit different. Um, I don't know that, see, I have a feeling that these two shades, when I swatch them, um, the blue one I obviously haven't used, but when I touched this one, it didn't have that. This feels more like, the other Nomad Shimmer formula, and even 
honestly, even the one that I'm wearing on the outer part of my lid is a little bit more like that. Let me just go ahead and swatch it. Yeah, it just doesn't have quite as much of that flaky pull up feel. I don't want to say flaky because it's not like a true flaky. It just, it just has a little bit more texture to it, but you're going to get that when you get so much glisten. I mean, hopefully you were able to see in the close ups of this look, the dimension that's here. So I absolutely love it. I am totally fine with having the extra bam, but if you're looking for something that doesn't have quite as much sparkle, did I just say sparkle? <laughs> we're gonna just go with it, uh, then that might be something to note. Now that I sort of yammered on about the shimmers in here, let's talk about the mattes. Absolutely bang on perfection. Did I use, I mean, some of them I just used like a dot, but I feel like I used almost every matte in here. I did not use Danny Boy. Uh, other than that, I feel like I have used every matte in here and I had zero issues with any of them, even the darker shades. Like if I was going to have an issue with a matte, it probably would have been this one or this one, maybe even this guy right here. No patchiness, not at all. And the other thing that I will say, my first two looks that I did, I did not use a like eyeshadow primer of any type. I just used concealer because that's pretty much what I do in my daily life stayed bright, stayed true all day long, all day long. Now, the first look that I did with this palette was the one that was like primarily all green. And that one just stayed looking so nice. First of all, I have to say that that shimmer, and let me pull that one out. That, oh my gosh, I am not gonna be able. Diadui, oh my, I probably should have looked up pronunciation. I'm sure that someone out there actually took the time to do that. I did not, but this one right here, I think is actually more of a at least duochrome because on the lid, it really looked like I had green and blue on and I I did not do that. So I love that the dimension that that had, but the mattes that I used, that, that look looked beautiful all day long. Actually that night, Jeremy and I were sitting on the couch and he was like, oh, your eyeshadow, he's like, that has to be my favorite. He's like, that is just my favorite. <laughs> So it just still looked bright and beautiful. And it had at that point at least been eight hours, but probably more like 10, possibly even 12. So I loved it. And even though I didn't use glitter glue on those other two looks, I did not have fallout throughout the day. I did have fallout when I applied them, obviously, but not when I you know, went about my day. So very long wearing, absolutely a love for me. So that being said, I, I really think that the only thing is if you are someone, I mean, A, you're gonna know if this is not the color story for you, but if you really don't want shadows that have much like flecks of mica in them, you might not you might not enjoy these quite as much because I do think that they have a little bit more sparkle than what we have come to know from Nomad, at least some of the shades do. Other than that, I mean, I think that that's it. I do think if you are a very fair skinned person, a lot of these shades have a lot of depth to them, right? So if you don't love a really dramatic eye look, you might want something a little lighter and softer. That's really the only, that's really the only downsides. Now, side note, can I just say, I'm really looking forward to fall looks pairing this palette with the Hudson Valley palette. Oh, oh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I really, I love the shimmers in this. They're so fun. And the Hudson Valley palette has such gorgeous, beautiful, yummy mattes, but you only have three shimmers in here. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy pulling some of these out as well. All right. We've been here for a while. We've been here for a while, so I think I'm just gonna wrap this one up. But again, thank you to Nomad for sending this over. And you can use my code KeepBeautyReal if you would like to pick up anything on the site. But again, no rush on picking this one up because it'll be around for a while, which I'm glad about because this is absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's time for a Nomad palette ranking vid. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. All right, lovelies, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like and let me know if you plan on picking this one up. I would love to know if you're going to add this beautiful green color story into your collection. Thank you so much and I will see you really soon.